once you have finished drawing and designing your project. Start measuring out all your pieces on whatever material you are using, in this case wood. Cut all the pieces out using a saw. To cut the pieces straight, you should saw slightly next to the line you measured out to allow way for the thickness of the saw blade. Clamping the piece of wood that you are sawing down to a workbench or table will allow you to make more precise cuts. When sawing, you are going to want to put your energy on the downstroke and not the upstroke. If you look at the teeth of the saw, you will see that the teeth cut a lot more on the downstroke than the up. If you are having trouble to start your cut, you can start it with a metal saw and then switch back to the wood saw. Once you have finished cutting all your pieces out, you should have four 280mm uprights, four 65mm pieces, four 100mm pieces, two 70mm and two 40mm and a base of 200mm by 150mm. Then start by measuring out the area where you are going to screw your first 10mm piece in. Drill a hole the same size as the screw in the 10mm piece. Then drill a pilot hole in the base. A pilot hole is a hole smaller than the screw. Drilling pilot holes will allow, you, allow the screw to go in easier and prevent the wood from splitting. Do the same thing with the other 10mm piece and two 65mm pieces. Then you can either glue or screw in the four uprights or both. I'm using wood glue and the brand doesn't not really matter as long as it is wood glue. You can now glue in the other two 10mm in at the top but one must be glued in the middle and not at the top. You can also glue in the other two 65mm pieces. Put the 70mm and 40mm pieces in on, one, on the one side of the structure the way I am. You will see that I have used a big pulley at the top but a cotton reel will work just as well. I have used a cotton reel at the bottom with a stick going through it to make the crank. I have used straws, they will allow it to move. I have also added two diagonal beams from the two front uprights to on top of the reel. These are not necessary, it's just for extra support. For the mine part, I have just used an old plastic box. I glued some struts onto it using a glue gun for extra strength. I have glued four pieces of string coming up from the box that I have tied to a loop on the main string.